Okay, people. SNA's Organite Creations here. Let's talk scalar waves. Okay, so scalar waves, what is this device doing? This is, I call it a PEMF scalar, yes, wave device. Okay, so scalar meaning um, what is happening? This here produces a beneficial life giving energy. So you, just as a passive device, so you can call it what you want. It's called, you know, chi, prana, orgone, right? Life force, tachyon energy, zero point energy, whatever. There's a beneficial field given off by this passive device naturally by the way we design it, all right? And what's inside, all right? What makes up all the organite mix, okay? So we know this from testing, preserving fruits and stuff like that. We know it, the plants, the plant growth, um, plants love it, all right? So by plugging this in now, and running frequencies through the coil, that is having a different effect again. It's creating a magnetic field through the coil. So any current pushed through a wire um, is creating an electric field, uh, sorry, a magnetic field. So the current's going through and it's got a rotation of a magnetic field running through the wire in a rodent coil configuration. If you look at the rodent coil on the side, it does the infinity symbol as it passes through. As it passes through, it's always, uh, also twisting. All right, so that's how we do it. That's how we've done it. All right, so frequencies are coming through. So now it's creating a magnetic field, a torus field of energy um, of this frequency. So one of them, they're both plugged in. One of them is 512, good for the heart, and one of them is 432, nature's, mother nature's harmonic tone, harmonic frequency, okay? Also, guys, I just want to add this into the video while I'm talking about this. Now, <clears throat> this here also produces orgone by the frequencies getting pulsed through the coil. It's also exciting the matrix, producing more orgone, more life force, more um, scalar wave as well, or, sc or a scalar field as well. All right, so that's just additional. I didn't Maybe I didn't make that clear because I said the passive device, if you unplug this and just have it passively, um, not connected to anything, not powering it, it's throwing out a... A scalar field or a scalar wave because we know that from preserve it works pre preserving fruits veggies stimulating plant growth which is all uh, traits of scale a scalar field as well all right so there's that so this is also producing more scalar because it's exciting that orgone mix the carl wells he's passed now he's no longer with us um he made the first organite and organ generator which is a pulsed frequency through an organ organite matrix okay and it excites it and it produces more organ call it organ but scalar as well all right scalar life force chi prana beneficial life giving life confirming um energy all right just want to say that so this is doing that it's also the p e m f side of things with the coil and the frequency is running through that the magnetic field of the frequency input all right so um yeah now scalar is not a, an exactly a scalar coil but we can make them we can do them there's a way there's a way you do it so also there's a a few different ways to make a proper scalar wave all right you've got to have opposing magnetic fields as one but like I was saying, as a passive device, this is throwing out a field of energy as well by itself, by everything that's in here, okay? So that's why it's like scalar, but the coil is basically more of a PMF. So you're getting both. The passive, the organized side of things is sort of throwing out a scalar field, and the coil is creating the magnetic field as a PMF for treating the body, for basking in the frequency field, for meditation, for imprinting like glass of water, that frequency is going to go into the water. Um, so is that so an example of creating scalar. What you do, it doesn't matter which one. Let's just change this one to 512. All right, we'll put this on 512. 512 and 512 hertz. Now, if these here were set up, see if I can do this, like this, sitting up and sitting up. Now, both of these are set up, the way we do it, if they you know, pointing at each other, both of these are set up, they have around a three foot plus magnetic field radius at this frequency. All right, so what's going on is the same frequency is getting bombarded like through both of them. 
and they're both north coming out and north coming out. So the same thing, they're having a repulsion because if you get two magnets and try to stick them together, you know that they um, they don't attract, they want to push apart, yes? If north and north is facing each other, force them, you get to feel that force and they want to flip around because north attracts south, south attracts north. But when you've got north and north or south and south, there's the issue. All right? But if you do it like this, um, right in the center right here, where these fields are entering and coming in and clashing, they're cancelling each other out and they're producing scalar. All right. That's the gist of one way to do scalar. Okay. So two magnetic fields um, of equal frequencies. So the same waveform coming together at the center point, scalar waves are produced. But we can also design a different rodent coil that will only produce scalar as well. All right, so we're going to be looking at this. There's going to be one of these available um, in that way. All right. Um, I mean, sorry, we're going to be getting into that. But, um, yeah, so you can do it like that. And I believe, well, this is how roughly Spooky 2, the Spooky 2 scalar system is. You've got two things. You've got a transmitter and a receiver. In the center area there, that's where the cancellation is, like i just shown you here. That's where the cancellation is and scalar is produced. And you set these up, say you've got your bed here or this is where you're meditating or whatever. You sit in the middle of these two, um, the receiver and the whatever. So, But right now, my hand is well, <laughs> like it's throwing out a field as well. So it's cancelling that and throwing out a field all right, of scalar right now. All right. So, and from that, you can put certain things in there. You can put your glass of water, you can put certain herbs or whatever. And that field might be um, also emanating that as well, as well as the imprinting side of things. Uh, so, but then we can also, instead of the PEMF, we can make a pure scalar coil. How do you do that? Not going to tell you. It's uh, what we're going to be offering at some stage. Instead of PEMF, you can have a pure scalar coil so the magnetic field is going to be less um it's going to be well, yeah well less because it's cancelling itself out and just producing scalar now the benefits of scalar i might pause the video here and put up on the screen now what the benefits of scalar waves are or scalar field is And, um, yeah, just a little thing there. So you, you can literally do, well, let's see. I wonder, because I've actually never done this, right? Let's put it down to one, one. Let's see how close we can actually get these. Uh, might not be able to set it up the way I want, because we're not going to get, <laughs> I don't even know if it's going to work. Well, either way, I think that's wobbling. You can see it's doing something, right? I'm trying to stay still. Yes, it's partly me moving too, but it, what I'm... See that? That's not me. So it's ticking, but it should be less. Because these two frequencies are clashing together, they're, they're cancelling each other out as well. All right, So that's, a, I guess, a demonstration. It's not like fully scientific or anything, that, but that's how the gist of how uh, you can create a scalar wave. All right, Same frequencies, head-to-head -head clashing or coming in line with each other. If this was a magnetic field and this is a magnetic field, if they come in and clash at that point, scalar potential. All right. But then you can design a coil, which is not this one, to do just scalar as well. And it does it, what I'm trying to demonstrate here, within the coil itself and emanating a scalar field. All right. So that's a potential where we're going to go to uh, make these as well. So you can have PEMF or you can have scalar. Um, let me know what you think. Just a quick video here. And, um, oh, that was pretty close to 432. Now I'm going to be packing these up, getting things ready. But while I do that, I'm also going to be sitting in this room where I work, package orders and stuff. I'm going to be sitting in here and bask within this energy field of 512 and 432. Thanks for watching.